Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Got a little something unusual today. This is a tractor attachment. I don't know exactly what it was before it started getting changed into other things. But the guy that brought it to me, he wants me to get this off of here. It had a spike coming out of it. It's right there. And then it has this bottom one, and this other one's already missing off of it. I think they were bailing hay with it or something, doing something with bales of hay. I don't know. But either way, what we're going to do is cut this off. He wants that gone. Take that spike off. And then we're going to cut some holes down through here all the way through and all the way through on there and put some bale spears on there. And those are these right here. We're just going to stick those through that piece of tube and weld it up. What he's doing is trying to make a fork attachment out of it. He wants it at about 31 and a half. That way he can pick up pallets of feed and stuff with it. So you get a lot of this little stuff, like this, tractors and stuff. You never know what somebody wants done to these things. But anyway, we're going to get it done. I'm using this uh, Harbor Freight Titanium Plasma Cutter to get all the cutting done on it. That little part was kind of tricky. It's got weld stacked around it and everything else. But it came on off of there. And here I'm starting to get the circles cut in. Those bell spears have a sleeve on them. And the sleeve is what actually be welded in there. This thing is actually full of water down here. It's kind of trying to bubble out on me. I ran to get a magnet trying to keep it from falling off in there. I could use the circle burner on this side to get them in, make it a little quicker. The other side had some pieces and stuff that I just wasn't going to be able to go around on. That magnet was useless on this side. It just kept getting in the way, and then the piece just fell all the way through anyway. Right, I kind of have everything sitting here together. It's not tacked up yet or anything. But what I did, I got it sitting on the table and with a series of clamps that are pulling this way and that way, I'm squaring it up off this tubing to the table. And then after that, I'm taking the square. Because these things are rounded, they come to a point, it's kind of hard to tell. But then I'm taking a square to the tubing again and just lining up alongside the part that's still solid. It don't taper down to down here. So I think we're good though. I mean, measurement's about the same at the point as it is up there. So anyway, I'll make sure everything's right and get it welded up.
All right, got it wrapped up. Sitting back on this little cart. Everything came out good on them. They stayed still when I started welding them. That water inside there is draining from somewhere else. And so I never could get rid of all of it. I had to keep flipping it and stuff. But everything came out good on it. These little spears will come out of there. It's just a nut back there holding it on. Then you can pull them out. I don't know if he'd ever pull them out. I mean, he brought the spears with him. I didn't buy them myself. But everything came out good. One of the main things is he wanted to make sure they were straight across. I mean, if you get down and look at them, they're pretty straight across. So you ought to be happy with that. On that top part, I just cut that off. That's all he said. I didn't try to grind it flush or anything. I don't think he's wanting to pay for, to do all that. But we'll call that a wrap on that and get back over here on these fire pits. I've got some go over there. Smokers there, smokers everywhere, more fire pits, stuff everywhere to get done. Got another tractor coming up soon too. Uh, some work on the, on the bush hog on the back, just some plate work and stuff. But anyway, that'll do it on this one. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.